If you've ever wondered how to connect your laptop to one monitor, two monitors, or even three monitor setups, and actually make it work smoothly for you, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you will know how to set up your workspace for maximum productivity, troubleshoot common display problems, and even use your laptop with the lid closed like a full desktop setup. I've added timestamp in the description below, so feel free to skip to the part that best fits your setup. Whether you are connecting one monitor, two monitors, or a full triple screen layout. All right, let's start simple. Connecting your laptop to one external monitor. So right here, I'm using an HP EliteBook J5, but these steps will work with almost any modern laptop. The first thing you want to do is to check the port on your laptop. That's where the magic happens. This one has both an HDMI port and a USB Type-C port that supports display output. That means I can connect two monitors if I ever need to without any extra gear. Now, let's talk cables. If your monitor has an HDMI port, great. All you need is a good quality HDMI cable. Don't cheap out here. Low quality cables can cause flickering or blackouts. Look for a high speed HDMI cable. I'm using one that came with my ASOS ProArt monitor and it's rock solid. Plug one end into your laptop HDMI port and the other into the monitor. If your monitor doesn't have HDMI, maybe it's an older model. No worries. You can get an HDMI to DVI converter like the one I'm holding here. It works perfectly for older monitors that have VGA or DVI inputs. Once everything is plugged in, turn your monitor on and make sure it's set to the right input. Most monitors have a menu or source button. Select HDMI and boom, your screen should pop up. If it doesn't, don't panic. You might just need to switch the input source or adjust display settings. On your laptop, just right click your desktop, display settings, then click identify. You will see your laptop screen labeled one and your monitor as two. If it's duplicating your screen, that's fine. But personally, I like to extend my displays so I can drag windows from one screen to another. So under multiple displays, choose extend these displays and click keep changes. Now, arrange them properly. Drag the box to match your physical setup. Laptop below, monitor above or side by side. This way, when you move your mouse or drag windows around, everything feels natural and that's it you now have a dual screen setup that can seriously boost productivity one screen for research one for work or youtube on one side and your notes on the other all right that's how to connect your laptop to one monitor okay let's connect two external monitors to your laptop so i've got an asus monitor and a door monitor right here and i'm still using the same laptop step one is the same. Check your laptop spot. This one has both HDMI and a Type-C port. Since my second monitor doesn't have a USB Type-C input, I will use a USB Type-C to an HDMI adapter. Super handy and affordable. Plug the adapter into your laptop Type-C or a Thunderbolt port. Connect your HDMI cable and then connect that to your second monitor. Now, make sure both monitors are turned on and set to the correct input sources. If your second monitor only supports DVI, just use an HDMI to DVI converter like before. Plug and play. Once both monitors are connected, your laptop should auto detect them. If not, again, right click on your desktop, display settings and check what's showing. You will see all three display listed your laptop plus the two monitors. Click identify to see which is which. Then under multiple displays, select extend desktop on one, two, and three. Arrange them in the order you want. Maybe laptop in the middle, Dell on the right, ASOS on the left, hit apply, and it should be good. Now you can drag files, browsers, or apps seamlessly across all screens. For example, I usually keep YouTube on one screen, Word on the second, and emails or editing software on the third. It's a complete productivity boost. And that's it for your dual monitor setup. All right, now let's talk about the ultimate setup. 
connecting your laptop to three external monitors. To pull this off, your laptop needs to support multiple display outputs. Mine has both HDMI and Type-C ports, which helps a lot. But if your laptop doesn't, you will need something like this Wavelink 5K Display Link docking station. These docking stations are a lifesaver. They let you connect two or even three monitors through a single USB Type-C or USB Type-A cable, depending on the model. So here's what I'm doing. The first monitor is connected directly via HDMI. The second and third monitors are connected through the Wavelink docking station using HDMI and DisplayPort cables. Make sure your docking station is powered on. Many requires external power. Once all cables are in, go to display settings again and you should see all displays listed. Arrange them the way they are physically positioned. Left, right, top and click apply. If nothing happens, on one of the screen, it might be a simple input source issue or a driver problem. I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. Now, you've got three screens up and running and trust me, once you use this setup, it's hard to go back. So that's your triple monitor setup done. Next, let's cover a simple but useful trick. How to use your laptop with the lid closed. All right, let's say you want to close your laptop lid and use your standard monitor, kind of like turning your laptop into a desktop. If you just close the lid right now, your laptop will probably go to sleep. But here's how to stop that. Go to the control panel, power option, then click on choose what closing the lid does. You'll see options for when I close the lid, change that to do nothing for both on battery and plugged in. Click save changes. Now, when you close the lid, your laptop will stay on and keep displaying to your monitor. Just make sure you have an external keyboard and mouse connected. And that's how to use your laptop in a closed lid mode. So now let's wrap things up with one of the most common issues. What to do when your monitor isn't displaying anything. All right, let's be honest. This happens to everyone. You connect your monitor and nothing shows up. Here's how to fix it. First, double check your input source. Make sure it's set to HDMI, DisplayPort, or whatever cables you are using. If it's still blank, right click your desktop, display settings, scroll down to advanced settings, and click display adapter property. Go to the driver tab and make sure your graphic drivers are up to date. If you see your drivers are current, but things still aren't working, you might need to restart your laptop and update your system. Sometimes it's just a pending driver update holding things up. And don't forget, not all USB Type-C cables support display output. So check your laptop specs. It needs to support display ports over USB Type-C or Thunderbolt. Once that's sorted, reconnect your cables, restart your system, and you should be good to go. All right, so that's how to fix the most common display issues. Super simple once you know where to look. And that's everything, how to connect your laptop to one, two, and three monitors, and how to use it when the lid is closed, and how to fix those display issues that drives you crazy. A big thank you to Yota System for giving me this laptop to do this test. Their details are going to be right here. You can reach out to them and mention Albert Unbox for a special discount of up to 20%. If this video helped you out, please do me a favor, hit the like button, and drop a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more videos like this. I will leave a link in the descriptions for cables, adopters and docking station I mentioned in the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye for now.